is Jenny Lynn and this is my channel and we're gonna pick some subjects today. Woo let's just let's just go. I'm ready. Let's let's do the next one. So what fearsome critter? Are we selecting today? It is going to be the fur-bearing trout. You might wonder, what the heck is a fur-bearing trout? But I will inform you, don't worry. It's kind of an obscure one. It's pretty weird, but I like it. It's different. And so the fur-bearing trout is going to be what color? Let's see. It's going to be blue. Okay, blue in a creature underwater. We can, that's, that's kind of, <laughs> that'll make a little more sense, but you know, yellow krakens are pretty unusual, but hey, we love unusual. All right, this one's going to be really, really fun. Yeah. All right, guys, keep on watching. And here we go. I'm designing the furry, furriest fur bearing trout you have ever seen in your entire life. Well, maybe not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit bright. But as we get going, you'll see it a little bit clearer. painting. I'm using golden heavy body acrylic paint and you'll see me moving the canvas around because I am wrapping this design around the edges. And I'm also color blocking which is where I put down kind of a base layer of color and then build off from there. of the time when I do make artwork I like to put in the background first you may actually notice that if you've been watching long enough and in this particular background I put in a lot of bubbles so many bubbles <laughs> interesting thing about working in one color is that sometimes you actually have to find different like, tones and shades and light lights and darks of, of the color that you've selected so that way you can actually make your subject stand apart from the background so in the in this series you'll you'll notice 
that a lot of times my my forefront subjects have a different, you know, shade and tone to them. This fish was actually one of the easier fish paintings that I've ever done because I didn't take a lot of time to put scales on it because it is supposed to be kind of a smooth and furry fish. And I'm actually really, really thrilled at how the, the mane came out on him. I think he looks really cool. the finished product. It's the fur bearing trout. I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. I really enjoyed using some of these very vivid blues. And in this world, this is the fur bearing trout that escaped capture. You will see that he has a lure stuck in the side of his mouth, kind of like, you know, a cool piercing. And, you know, so it goes in line with, with the whole story, um, or at least a few of the stories that I read about the fur-bearing trouts, that they are inedible or they're bad luck or you shouldn't eat them. So maybe a fisherman caught him and saw that he had a luxurious mane and said, no, 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 I don't want him, and, you know, threw him back. So that's what's going on here. Um, I had a great time designing the, the mane on this particular fur-bearing trout and some of the imagery I did see kind of had long hair all over their body and so what I did in this one is I, I, I gave the impression that there might be a little bit of short fur on the body but I wanted to give him a very lion-like lion mane. So that is what I did. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now, if you would, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out all of my links down below. And this guy's going to be up in my store. So if you want to buy a print, please do that. I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!